hell, my lucky days come in spills And if I ever get the chance to make the sun go up hell I pray you pray for me pray. well, I may not make it to I there I see my death come in pieces, through my dreams and my demons How I feel for the feeling, just for life have a meaning I can never be what they want me to be for myself So fuck it, guess I'll take life where it breathing in hells I ain't never had a problem like this before the pain It ain't nothing but what God would insist And you remain, I ain't never sure what y'all couldn't miss Ain't that a shame, yet I still can't get no love in our head I ain't never had a problem like this before the pain It ain't nothing but what God would insist And you remain, I ain't never sure what y'all couldn't miss Ain't that a shame, yet I still can't get no love in our head Hello and welcome to The Creative Experience Today we're here with T. Hayes Hola mama other known as Mighty Ambassador, other known as Rel, other known as Tyler Hayes. And today we're here to talk about who is T. Hayes. So who is T. Hayes? T. Hayes is somebody that can't really be defined easily because we're all individuals, we're all humans, and we can't really just be defined as, as one thing. So, you know, when, when you say, I am this, and when you give yourself a label, see, I don't personally, I don't like labels. When you give yourself your label, you know, people hold you to that standard. So, and as people, we we're not always gonna live up to that standard. And when you when you eventually don't, people, you know, it's like what the hell? People get confused. So it's like I don't try to define myself as something, but I will say because I find I find something interesting about uh, I I define myself previously as liquid matter because liquid matter the way you know, liquid works is not as solid, it's not so uh, uh, steadfast to one thing, and it's not gas because it's not too erratic, it's not too unpredictable. So I'm like in between, I'm liquid matter and I can change form whenever I want to, and you can contain it, but you can't really at the same time because you know it's gonna leak, it's gonna change, you know, it, it flows. I just think it's interesting how I, how I see myself uh, the way that liquid moves It's just weird I'll, I'll probably I'll probably Come up with a better way To define myself In the future But That's just like One of the first things That comes to mind So you released a project Recently called Kill the Mockingbird Kill the Mockingbird And What does the title Kill the Mockingbird Mean to you? I've heard Kill the Mockingbird From the movie From literature In high school What does it mean to you though? Kill the Mockingbird See It, it was really I, I got inspired from the, for the title and while I was in my English class, my first year of college, and he explained, you know, the meaning of the Mockingbird from uh, 2K Mockingbird, which is, you know, uh, don't, don't kill the Mockingbird because the Mockingbird ain't do nothing. It's, it's just innocent, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea of killing your innocence, cause that's a lot of things in, in stories and literature, is 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 killing innocence. It's one of the themes, you know, I learned in college. It was like, mm -hmm. and when I heard that, I was like, oh my God, right? So, and also he explained the whole concept of the blackbird, you know, the blackbird is something that's not really the mockingbird. You know, if you're gonna shoot something, shoot the blackbird. Because mm -hmm. the mockingbird ain't doing it. It's, it's innocent, right? So it's like, I took that idea and I thought of people's lives or our lives in general. We have a story and at some point, we're going to reach a, a turning point that, that's going to define us. And we may have many turning points. It defines us as a person. So I recently, you know, I felt like I recently had my mockingbird killed. I had my innocence destroyed, you know, through a bad relationship and heartbreak. And that was kind of the turning point of my life right now, my, the, the, the evolution of me right now. And that's basically the idea, if I could... The best way I could put it, because you know I could go on for a long time explaining the idea of, of killing the mockingbird. But that's basically Why do you think that killing the mockingbird was the best decision? Killing your ego. What led you to killing your ego? Killing killing my ego was is something that has been leading up to me in my life for a long time because I've always been an arrogant individual mm -hmm. my whole life. So you know when I. You know, growing up, people in my family or just people in, in general told me, you know, I should be more humble. And I was like, 
Um, well, I didn't, I didn't even honestly didn't know what that means. I couldn't, and I would look up the definition. I'd just be like, humble what? And I, I can never grasp onto it. But once, once you know, you have something in your life that just, you know, just rips away your pride, or it makes you feel like, you know, you think you are one thing, but you're really not, and you, you're not, you're not what you think you are. Life it ain't what you think it is. So once you had that realization, you are, you are able to remove yourself and look at the world and yourself and how you affect people from the outside in instead of the inside out. Because mm -hmm. once you look at the world from the inside out, you know, that's egotistical. But once you learn to remove yourself from everything that the world or society, you know, embodies, then, you know, you're looking from a, a free thinking headspace and killing my ego really helped with that. You know, that was, that's just like a big thing. And I, that's my new thing as a person, like humility, truth, and knowledge. That, those are my three things that I, that I live by, by mm -hmm. myself, that I value. Do you think killing your ego has influenced your music to grow because you're thinking in a different state and you have more to adapt with? Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely, because it's like, you know, before making music, to me, it it was kind of weird. Like ever since you know, killing my Mockingbird, killing my ego, it's been so different now. Making music, it's like it's not the same at all, and it's it's been kind of weird trying to adjust to it. But you know, my music has always been about me, uh, cause that's I mean that's the thing that anybody can rap about the best is about themselves. Exactly. Cause you know, who you know better than yourself. Mm -hmm. supposedly right so it's like that's what it's gonna continue to be because I don't want to you know I don't want to be fake someone who doesn't know what they rapping about rap about you know some you know some fake stuff right so you know I'm always keep it real but it's like it's so different now because you know I had this idea of <clears throat> uh, what do you call it you know a holy plan God's plan right so my life and was it was um the, everything that happened uh -huh. in my life or trying to trying to come up in the rap game, you know, my success, I was like, oh, this is God's plan, this is God's plan, you know, this is supposed to happen. And it's not like, uh, you know, I didn't work for it. You know, this was, this was planned since my birth. And you can hear it. If you go back and listen to my music, you can hear it mm -hmm. in there. So, yeah. What do you think the future for T. Hayes is? The future... I don't know, and I think, I don't know, because you, you can only be optimistic. I think people who think they know the future are egotistical. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's ego. You, nobody knows the future until it happens. Exactly. You can, you can give a guess, you can give your best guess, mm -hmm. but you don't know, you don't know, no, because that's just, that's just dumb. It hasn't happened yet, right? So it's like, the future for me, what I want it to be, is I, I guess I want, I want to be successful, but I'm a... What I've always done is make the best of my every situation that I can. I try to make the best of it. Uh, when when you know when shit hits the fan and everything, you know, it's you just gotta you just you just gotta do your best in life. You just gotta do your best. Exactly. Because you can't control everything. Feeling I can feel a nose die, road tight to the healer. Ever did you go? My my mind is the healer's like I, Katrina, might find what you feeling. If dying is the meaning, no life or a demon, no light. 
to redeem and show vice on a phoenix hole pride teeny minute but wait a minute listen get a little off track if you ever felt the ticket you can pick it off back off that go to get it hit the prison off my call back when you get it tell me if it's all black i'm coming in after never run faster the cd in the time and i'm out of my chasm sleepy and i'm dying i'm dying i go and sign and find whatever life to live that's at the death i don't gotta fight to give i'm over death feeling like mike and it's over self all that i might forgive is over now show the road to the light i wish to blow it down no doubt on the freaky one another no doubt i completely numb i can never hold out to a piece of something just to function like the normal not a total not a tonal i don't want to be live i don't want to be dead hanging on the line by a line on the edge when i fold the cry feel a knife on the end ain't no gold in life ain't no life in the end i do a little kid rest, right so and i remember it was and i was sending some stuff to my cousin who's also an artist desiree mckinney go back her out go check her out uh desiree mckinney and uh I was sending her some raps and she was like, yo, this is good, yo. Something like that. And she called me up. I'm like, dang, why is she calling me out? Just in a little little rapidy rap, right? And she was like, yo. You know, she was inspiring me. And I was like, you know, I never took being a rapper serious. Exactly. And I was like. Because it's no. so like far-fetched for some people. Yeah, it's, it's like, like chasing your dreams. And I had to instill that in me, in me as a kid. You know, chasing your dreams, that's just irrational. Mm -hmm. You can't chase your dreams. So, and, you know, it's not worth to chase your dreams. But, and what, you know, she inspired me. She was like, no, you can do this, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and to me, I was like, you know, she sounds crazy right now. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't care about this stuff. And then, you know, but when I hung up the phone, I, was, I, I sat there and thought about it. I was like, what am I going to do in my life? Exactly. Because before Why do I, you have to have a designated path? Yeah, right. Even before, like, before I even want to be a rapper. Like, when I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a movie star. Mm -hmm. I want to be an actor for anything. But, you know... You know, dreams, I still didn't mean as a kid, you know, chasing your dreams, that's just, nah, that, that ain't it. Go for something that's more probable. And that makes sense, going for something that's more probable. But for me, my personality, you know, I'm a, I'm a dream chaser. That's just me. I'm ambitious. I'm optimistic. So that, after that phone call, I was like, you know, let me try to do this shit. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. God damn. So, and after that, what was the question? Why do I, I ask, make music? Yeah. Okay. So, and there's a story, it's like, you know, um, you know, when you're young and naive, first writing raps or writing songs or whatever, you know, you're rapping about whatever. And I was rapping about some nonsense, you know, fucking hoes, killing people, mm -hmm. doing all this, just a bunch of weird, you know, stuff that wasn't real. Exactly. And I knew the people that I idolized as rappers was like Kendrick Lamar and Tupac and stuff like that. I was like, you know, I, I love these people so much, but it's like, I don't even... I'm doing some nonsense. Like, I got to step it up. So it was like, I sat down one time and I I was just, I was like, okay, let me rap about me. And I wrote, I wrote this song and it was so personal to me. You know, I started tearing up. I was like, nah, this is it right here. Mm -hmm. Like, if it makes me feel this way, I can probably affect somebody else too. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think your creative process is? How do you, how do you know when you have a rap? When I have a rap? When you have something that's, that's good. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> oh no! It's just it's just this euphoric feeling you get. Yeah. Like when I when I was making uh when I was making prima donna, uh, I was it wasn't I started putting little things together and it just kept getting better and better. I was like, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good. It just kept getting better and better. And I was you feel like that picture with all the uh with the chalkboard with who is it? It was from a movie. And then they're like this with all of like the different math. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just feel like he sparked it. Yeah, I was like, you know, Eureka or some shit. And my homeboys was in my room, you know, with my friends. And they was on the other side of the dorm room. And I was like screaming. And mm -hmm. with my hammer, I was like, ah, it's just so good. And it was like, you know, that's that's how you know you know, when you had that. It's just that cut feeling. It's just that feeling. But of course, you know, taste in music is subjective. So, But for me, you know, that's when I have a know something. You know, when I when I I can just feel it in my chest. I feel you. Yeah. So if you had any closing closing statements for the people, what would you have to say? Closing statements. I am not. I am not above anybody. I am not. I am not superior in any way. In any way, nobody is. Uh, we are all part of the same species. Um, you know, nobody is inclined or to tell you what to do. Nobody knows more about, 
I wouldn't say about yourself, but don't think that people are more superior of you because of society or what you know society tells you or stuff like that. Because society is man-made, you know. There's nothing. Everybody has free will, and nobody's above anybody. And I wish we could all just calm down. This is the Creative Experience. This is T Hayes. Slap. I'm Steven Chen. Slap. Leaving the reasons a reasonable covenant, evil no covenant. T come in peace with the beast and I'm bubbing it. Peace with the tongue in it. She fuck with me cause I beat those disgusting. They're leaving and bring that and feed it for me. I just be moving and choosing and moving. It's up against who I've been looking for you niggas. Loosen and groovy and stupid as new niggas. Goofy and doofus as stupid as you niggas. Fool gazy fool niggas, you lazy you niggas. I spit an insane to the base. Yeah, living miss gang to the bay. Yeah, wanna get changed for the pay. Yeah, honey dick quick to the face. Yeah, I don't want my own calling. I don't wanna lie no more. I don't love my own darling, take me far away It's just something can't contain or something It's just something I've been raised to function Just can't help it when I ain't nothing I've been living on you